Actually, I'm gonna break it down even more. Yeah. Who's the statement it's in? Tallest Mo. Uh, no, no. I go into my room after drinking wine. Um, we had two or three glasses after of After telling heavy. the story. Yeah, after telling the story, whatever. I go to my room. I lie on the bed. Ne? But the way I'm lying on the bed, to one more song. Okay, I'm out of here. Man. The way I'm lying on the bed is like this. Leg, one leg on, another leg balancing. <laughs> I'm sleeping. So I know some of us have actually forgotten about this whole case, but yeah, here we are again. And uh, Tolles Moore was on the MacG podcast and he was on a rant. That was a whole jub jub rent and he was exposing skipper my file about everyone and i feel like he's he's a hurt individual and hurt people hurt others um he's hurt about people basically turning their backs on him but he is you know he's allowed to feel whatever he feels so uh this case basically dates back to 2014 uh this is when Lerato and tolles Moore or Tolles more allegedly raped Ulerato Moloi. And Lerato didn't open a case initially. She ended up uh, spilling the tea or, you know, exposing Tolles Mo. I don't know how many years later, but this is 2020. And she opened a case. So this case lasted for almost two years. And eventually Tolles Mo won the case. And on that clip on the MacG podcast, he basically explained what went on during that whole court case, that whole battle of him trying to prove his innocence and him losing his bag and him facing a lot. Honestly, so, he was facing said a, lot. a statement so, where she detailed how that whole, you know, rape uh, case happened. Uh, so it states in 2014, I was sexually assaulted and raped by Mongezi. Tolles Mo Matlangu while working on a television production in in Pal Western Cape. For numerous reasons, I did not open a case at the time and only shared this experience with one of the other uh, participants on the show. And then it says, after both Lerato and Tolles Mo reached the top of the trend list this weekend following the revelation and Pearl Tusi announcing on their Twitter that she was interviewing Mome and Tolles Mo on BET behind the story. Mome took to social media to defend her husband. Mome said that she, along with her family, will not participate in any kangaroo court, referring to social media. So after the story broke, uh, Ulerato 2020, she decided to open a case against Tolles Mo. And then 2022, fast forward, uh, uh, August, Tolles Moore won the case. So this was due to the fact that Ulerato's story was shaky and, you know, she couldn't prove her case. Sleeping. She says she's sleeping, but the door is slightly open. So, what? then... So mo- she passed out in that position. Yeah, she passed out in this position. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you must enough. remember that position. Yeah. Passed out in that position, yeah. Sharp. <laughs> then she said, Mina, I whispered her name. Psst. Lerato. <laughs> Lerato. Three times. Mutota away, by the way. Skalibal, she's passed out this fucking person. Oh, yeah, yeah, from break. But she can hear me whispering her name. Fair mm. again, I go into the room. Okay, get into the room. She then says that now. I removed, I try to forcefully remove her clothes. Mm. I, but I chill on the clothes thing. I'm like, fuck it, me, I want some foreplay. I take my dick out and I put it in her mouth. Oh! oh fucking hell. She said it in a statement. In a statement. Jeez. And he She's took his dick, his penis out and put it forcefully in. She's still asleep in. now. Yeah, still asleep. But she heard you whispering. Don't worry. She, it's, it's a comp- I mean, her story is so wonderful. <laughs> it's a beautiful story, this one. Now you'll tell me, you'll make me understand. Takin Rohanya. I'm even shaking. Now, this chick, ne? she says that I forcefully put my penis in her mouth. Mm-hmm. Then after, what I, afterwards, after I took off her clothes forcefully, then, listen to this, guys. Because this statement, because people are not going to believe this shit. And I want South Africa to see this fucking statement for their own selves. I factor five times. One, two, three, four, five. Penetrated, baby. Five. Correct. That's the statement. I penetrated her five times. Pulled out. Ne? Kissed her on her forehead. And just to be devil's advocate, I think... Because this case or the crime 
happened in 2014 and then she only managed to open the case you know a few years later 2020 i think she there's a possibility that she could have you know forgotten you know she could have forgotten some of the things that happened so it's possible that lerato moloye could have blurred out uh, the traumatic experience and and sometimes it's not easy to speak out about rape because you don't know how people would perceive you if you do end up you know reporting the crime and plus she is she's 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 famous yeah semi famous and she's a model and maybe she was scared that her exposing utolesmo or her opening a case of rape might you know destroy her career or, or the backlash that she is obviously currently receiving from people and i'm not saying if she is lying if she is lying i'm not saying what she did is right i'm not condoning it but just because you know the case was won doesn't mean the crime was never committed so yeah that's my two cent don't have much to say about it anymore but yeah do listen to the rest of the clip and you know leave your comment let us know what you think about this whole rape case honestly i don't have much to say i don't have much to say but yeah do leave a comment and do not forget to like comment share and subscribe and please do watch my ads please like my videos yeah thank you for watching and hashtag road to 10k subscribers